Hello, my name is Anna Carey and I'm the author of The Boldness of Betty. And The Boldness of Betty is a book about a girl called Betty Rafferty who lives in Dublin in 1913. Now, back in 1913, you could only go to secondary school if your parents could afford to pay for it. And a lot of children's parents could not afford to pay for it, which meant they had to leave school when they were only 13 and go out and get a job. And that's what Betty has to do, even though it is not what she wants to do. She would prefer to stay on and go to secondary school and maybe even college so she can maybe become a teacher or a journalist or a writer. But that just isn't an option. Um, she has to go and earn money for her family. So she gets a job in a cake shop in Henry Street in the middle of Dublin. And when she's there, she discovers that the she and the other girls who work in the shop aren't always treated fairly by their employers. So they decide to stick together in a trade union and fight for their rights. They're not the only people who are doing that in 1913, because in 1913, thousands of people in Ireland uh, went out on strike or were locked out of their jobs by their employers because they joined a union. And it was a very dramatic time. There were there was a lot of violence on the streets in Dublin. Uh, the feelings were running high and people got went very hungry. Uh, so Betty uh, experiences all of this with her friends, Rosie and Samira, who are also members of the union. And uh, she eventually finds she has to you know, figure out what's really important in her life. And I uh, wrote the book partly because my own great grandfather, Robert Carey, was out on strike in 1913. Like Betty's dad, he worked on the docks in Dublin. And I was able to find his name in the dock records, thanks to a brilliant uh, historian um, who was incredibly helpful. And he showed me my great grandfather's name uh, in the records with the word striker next to his name in bright red ink, which was uh, very exciting. And it's a, that's just a reminder that, you know, when you're if you if you want to write a story, no matter where it's set or in what sort of environment it's set, you can draw on your own family's past um, or your own family's present. So I. Uh, you know, I grew up in the, I was a kid in the 1980s and 90s, but like Betty, I sometimes squabbled with my sisters. She doesn't always get on well with her brother and sister. And, you know, I hung out with my friends. And those are the sort of things that you can draw on from your own life and put into a story no matter where you're setting it. And I took some other things from about my own family history for Betty's uh, background as well. So she lives in a road uh, in Dublin called Strandville Avenue, which is in the North Strand um, in North Dublin, quite near the city centre. And that's the road where my dad grew up, uh, my grandmother before him grew up, and my cousins grew up. And actually, I gave Betty my cousin's house because I thought that uh, it'd be nice to have a bit of my own family history uh, actually in the story. And I spent a lot of time in that house when I was growing up. So I think it's uh, it's always fun to put things from your own experience or stuff that you know into your story. And you can do that even if you're writing a fantasy, if you're writing a uh, a funny story or a spooky story or an adventure, no matter what you're writing, you can put a bit of your own experiences uh, into that story and do something brand new with it. And uh, in the in the bonus of Betty, Betty, like all of us, you know, is figuring out what she really cares about and what she what matters to her and what she wants to do with her life. And I hope that that's something that we can all relate to, whether we're in uh, 2021 or back in 1913. So um, I hope that if you get to read the bonus from Betty, you enjoy it.